Do you run cold email campaigns for sales and marketing and you're noticing that your emails are landing in the spam folder? There's a new tool that can help warm up your emails called warmbox.ai. So you basically add your email to the tool and Warmbox will send out natural looking emails on your behalf and reply back to those emails, interacts with them. So it looks like you're communicating with hot leads and customers. So this will improve the overall email deliverability of your account. In this demo and review, I will be going over Warmbox so you know whether or not this is the right tool for you. So let's get started. So if you send out cold emails, you know how important it is for your emails to get delivered in the inbox and not the spam folder, right? Because let's face it, you spent hours drafting an amazing email and you also spent countless hours getting a list of hundreds or thousands of businesses that you want to connect with, right? And then you send out all these cold emails and what do you get back? you get back crickets, right? No one opens your emails, no one replies to your emails, and you don't have any conversations. Uh, your sales fall flat and you get fed up, right? I've been there many times in the past, so that's why it's very important that you use an email warm-up tool like Warmbox, okay? So it warms up your email inbox to improve your email deliverability. Okay, so you definitely want to use this type of tool to improve your email deliverability so you're not wasting time sending out cold emails to people that will never open them or even receive them in the first place, right? So let's get started with this Warmbox, Warmbox review and demo. Now, before I begin, I want to invite you to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this type of content. So when you log in, you're greeted with this dashboard. So it's very simple, very easy to use and to understand. So the first step is to add your inbox to the tool, okay? So on the right-hand side, click on this blue Add New Inbox button, and it's a three-step process. So the first step is to choose your inbox provider. So I'm gonna click on Gmail and click on Next to go to the next step, which is to connect your inbox. So I'm gonna click on Sign In with Google, choose your Gmail account and click on Continue. Now for the last step, Warm Up Options, you choose your Warm Up Recipe. Okay, so there are four recipes. The first one is Progressive. So as you could see here in this bar graph, it progressively goes higher. So every single day, the number of emails that get sent go as high up to 40, okay? So this is the one that's most recommended. The second option is to set up a warm-up recipe flat. So basically every single day, um, Warmbox will send four, 40 emails. All right, and then the third one is randomized. So basic, basically, um, every single day it will send out a random number of emails. And then the last one is custom. So this one is for cold email experts. So this is where you can customize the timing range, the minimum and maximum emails sent per day, and also the, re the reply rate per day. Okay, so this is where you can get really, really granular on the days, number of emails get, that get sent, and the reply rate. So I'm just gonna click on Progressive and click on Done. And then it says, your inbox has been successfully added. And then click on Go to Dashboard. So this is your dashboard, okay? Now the other day, I set up a different email inbox, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So in your inboxes uh, report here, this table shows you how many inboxes you've set up, um, how, many in, how many emails were sent so far this day, when it was created, the status, and also actions you can turn on or off these inboxes. So I'm gonna open up this inbox to view the report. Now, as you could see here, it shows you some high level data, so it shows you how many emails were sent, how many interactions, 
replies and the spam rate. And then you can also see the inbox warming plan. So I set up a progressive so you could see um, every single day how many emails were sent. You can see the gray bars are what's scheduled, how many were in spam, and then the replies. So you could see um, these two days I did get a one reply. All right, and then you can also see inbox versus spam. So some good numbers here, 100% are in the inbox. That's nice to see. You don't wanna see a high spam percentage. And then also custom schedule, you can also customize as well. So you can see all these different dates, how many interactions on that date, reply percentage, progress, how many were sent, and then you can edit it as well. So for this day, you can click on this edit icon and then choose how many um, emails you can increase or decrease and also the reply rate. If you want to do 50%, you could do that, right? And then just click on save. I think um, the max is 45%, okay? And then you can click on save and that's it, All right? You can even delete the specific days as well. So maybe if it's a, a weekend, you don't want to send out emails during the weekend because businesses are off, you can just delete um, those specific days from your schedule. And then you could see the recent activity as well, all right? So that's basically the, the gist of it, okay? You can also edit the warm-up as well. So if you don't want progressive, you can maybe choose flat, randomized, and then click on done. And then as you could see here, for scheduled, you can see it's definitely randomized. So for tomorrow, there's gonna to be 36 that are scheduled for tomorrow, all right? And um, that's basically the gist of it, okay? Now, you can also click on email blacklists and DNS checker, okay? So you can check if your IPs and domains are blacklisted, uh, test your DNS settings to improve your deliverability, okay? So you can run a new test, okay? I'm gonna click onto this, and I got a 78 out of 100, which is not too bad, right? And then you can see your domain blacklist check here. Okay, so all good, your domain is not blacklisted. And then you can also see the IP blacklist check as well. So it looks like your sending IP is partially blacklisted. And then spam assassin check. Your spam assassin score is medium, SPF check, and then so on and so forth. So this is an excellent way to check to see what your, your email um, inbox is like and how, how much you need to improve, right? And then that's basically it. And then inbox spam checker is uh, still in beta. Now let me show you how the emails look like. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my Gmail. I'm in my sent folder. So these are all the emails um, that were sent on my behalf via Warmbox. Okay, so you could see in the email subject lines, they all end with WBX. So you can signify which ones were sent with Warmbox. Okay, so if you open them, they are, um, you know, written very nicely, very professionally, and they all make sense, right? So they look very, very professional. Um, they don't look like you know, spam or anything like that. So this really shows uh, Gmail that this account is working, communicating with real hot leads, real customers, real businesses, and it will improve my email deliverability um, over time. So that's really the ultimate goal of this particular tool. So hopefully you thought this review and demo was helpful. Um, definitely like this video if you've enjoyed this, subscribe to my channel, and click the link in the description to create an account with a warm box and start improving your email deliverability today. So I will see you in the next video.